Have you ever wondered why you have to wear those lead blankets during an x-ray? Well first let's start with the question, what are x-rays? X-rays are electromagnetic waves. They are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum goes from radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible light from red to purple, UV waves, x-rays, and gamma rays. The electromagnetic spectrum goes from low frequency and low energy levels to high frequency and high energy levels. Therefore, x-rays has high frequency and high energy. In 1985, a scientist by the name of Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen discovered that x-rays could penetrate soft tissues and organs, but not bone, and that they could produce shadow images of bones. This is why now we use x-rays to see if we have a broken bone or not. So why then are x-rays so dangerous? Well, as it turns out, x-rays are actually very radioactive. X-rays cause ionization radiation. Ionization radiation is defined as radiation with enough energy so that during an interaction with an atom, it can remove tightly bound electrons from the orbit of an atom, causing the atom to become charged or ionized. The most important consequence of this displaced electron on human tissue is the potential damage it can inflict on DNA. It can cause abnormal cell division, reconnection, and synthesis of DNA strands, which can lead to many health problems, one of the most common being cancer. So why is lead so effective in protecting us from these harmful effects? What's so special about it? Well, lead has a very high atomic mass of 207.2, which means it has lots of protons and lots of electrons. Lead also has a very small atomic radius, which means you can pack a lot of lead atoms together in a small space. This relates to its high density of 11.3 grams per centimeters cubed. Because of this high density and small atomic radius, x-rays do not penetrate lead very well, thus protecting us from its effects.